movie um, was made with just um, $27,000 US dollars. I'm coming home. Welcome to yet another time with the consultee. This is your first time here. My name is Chacha Wabara and what we do here are movie reviews and trailers as well as everything else in between. And if this is your first time here, please sit back and enjoy. And don't forget to hit on the subscribe button, turn up your post notifications so that you'll be alerted when a new video comes up. To my returning subscribers and viewers, thank you so much for doing this with me. Let's do this again. Today we'll be reviewing a Korean drama known as Sweet Home. Guys, this Korean drama was premiered on um, the 18th of December 2020 and has created a whole lot of noise online it, it has left the you know the asian community it has left south korea because it's a south korean movie it has left south korea and it has entered even the u.s this movie um was made with just um twenty-seven thousand dollars u.s dollars as a low budget movie later on transformed into something else a few weeks back it had already risen up to number seven in the in u.s netflix alone from what i could see at the end of the drama it opened up you know opportunities for a second um, season at the moment netflix has not announced you know a renewal for second season they will keep looking at the numbers crunching the numbers until they are convinced that you know a lot of people are hooked before they can now introduce um a, a season two and it, the making of the season two would take a long time that's what netflix does that you know makes me get um pissed most times but um this movie this wonderful drama has notable actors like Song Kang, Lee Sin Young, um, Lee Dong Hoon, Lee Jin Wook, Go Min Soon, Park Park Young. Sorry, I murdered your names. Don't be annoyed, okay? 
um, it's one of those things. I'm a foreigner. Now, the movie is a sci-fi drama. It has to do with end time ap apocalypse uh, dramas. Okay, it tried to mirror uh, train. Uh, is it train to Bus Busan and all that? But it has its own. It is not talking about um, humans turning into zombies and all of that. No, what it's talking about now is humans turning to monsters. You know, through no chemical of course, or you know, any of those things or infection. No, it is as as a state of an infection of the mind, which is a different thing altogether. You know, that's what changed it. Now, the story of oh. home um, is around um, this apartment building, I think is Green Home Apartment Building. Uh, accommodates several people or people of the low class really low class you know all living there okay. and um, there comes this course this course that has taken over South Korea and left everyone for monsters and these neighbors have woken up to that reality and are scrambling you know desperately trying to hold on to what little humanity they have and survive on that this new order of things right of hopelessness now a lot of neighbors in there have turned to monsters but curiously some of them some of these monsters are not eating monsters some of these monsters just cohabit with them you know now we have Son Khan. Son Khan is um, one of the leading characters who, you know, is, is an introvert, suffers from depression. He, you know, he, ha he suffers from serious bullying in school that changed him completely. And then when he tried to stand up to those who are bullying him, right, his dad was called to school and his dad lost his job in the process. Then. Um, when he still also wanted to you know stand up to them again his friend lost his mom as a result so that thing really dealt with him and he did not just want to have anything to do with anyone including his family along the line he's he, he lost his mom his dad and his sister so he just became the only one you know left and he had no one to depend on to lean on and he was just wondering you know it was just a week that he moved to green home apartment building he looked at himself he was so depressed he planned out how he was going to commit suicide and the day fell upon that day that this apocalypse thing started the day that he wanted to commit suicide was the day the world changed along the line uh, Son Khan got infected. He maintained his humanity. He didn't change into a monster. He, as a matter of fact, his uniqueness was used to help his neighbors. They needed him. They accepted him to become a member of their family. There are different characters there. Another character, I think Lee Son Yun, who was um, as unique as Son Khan. But, you know, was a psycho and wanted to kill everyone, you know, and um, wanted to kill the other humans, kill humans in general, kill everyone and just dominate, dominate everywhere. We have Lee Jung Wook. Lee Jung Wook is, is a character that I am still trying to understand because when they started showing him in the movie, he had a scarred face and all that. So, at some point, you know what everyone was saying about him was that he had this murderous look and didn't care about anyone but at the end of the day portrayed himself like a survivor and helped and they all together stayed in harmony but at the end of the drama you know there comes Lee Jung Wook who was who had supposedly died along with um, one of the the girls you know they just died from gunshot wounds but see him living so i'm wondering is it the monster from who monster that some can killed that now entered this guy jim Wook, that broke some kang out lee sing young you know who got pregnant for her fiance who was a scientist and all of that and was taxed with a mission but later on 
you know disappointed the soldiers you know she just let these people out of that of, of the green home apartment building from under the tunnel and then resumed her role again there are lots of question marks everywhere but the f season one of this sweet home was an amazing you know movie that was ad adapted from um, a webtoon and it's in all the movies that have been acted based on vampire blah 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 uh, infection end of time apocalypse and all of that sweet home was the bomb it's curious though that uh, most of the drama was just within that that green home apartment building everything was just there apart from you know outside but everything was just there kind of creating you know everything happening there and not minding the crowd the billions of people outside that must have been that might have been affected by this same thing so it kind of like curbed our anxiety curbed our focus to just that building which was what i loved about the movie and you understand the storyline you will get focused on the storyline you will have your favorite you know actors and actresses you will follow their progress and their advancement as well as their death for those who are dying so it was a wonderful movie to watch and i will encourage you to watch the movie you will not even want to miss a single scene when you start watching this netflix or original movie okay so which brings um, my movie review to an end oh and I'm going to rate the the drama a an 8 over 10 okay because there were scenes where um, it was too gory I don't really like gory scenes it was too gory or too dark I blame that on Netflix it was too dark and you really couldn't you know follow um the narration properly but apart from that the drama was awesome the drama was amazing and you won't want to miss it okay so if you're still here and you still haven't subscribed please hit on the subscribe button to turn up your post notifications so that you'll be alerted when new videos come up thank you so much for watching let's do this once again bye